The nature of business transactions defines the type of market. In the traditional African sense, the marketplace serves more than just the purpose of um, a place where people gather to buy and sell goods or uh, transact business. Um, it serves as a place where people also meet and catch up, um, talk about their families or their problems, um, talk to their friends and find out how they are doing. So this marketplaces project uh, brings in professionals from different disciplines who then look at the marketplace uh, from all these different angles. Uh, the sociologists look at it from a social angle, the environmentalists look at it from an environment angle, the planners look at it from a planning angle and so on. So the whole idea is that um, all these different disciplines look at what is ailing the market currently um, and seek to bring in solutions uh, or help with ideas uh, that might solve these problems from their different perspectives. Uh, for example, in this era of climate change, uh, how are the people adjusting in, in, in the market? Um, are they changing their livelihood based on the impact that is already being experienced in the market? Um, how do uh, the traders in the marketplace uh, get their wares and where do they get them from at this The roads are the main means of transporting goods to Kisumu for the different marketplaces. The lower level marketplaces like the neighborhood shops, neighborhood kiosks, neighborhood uh, stalls or those periodic markets, markets that you have that operate from uh, 4 5 in the evening up to early part of the night tend to get their goods using public transport. The slightly higher level marketplaces have more dedicated transport means, lorries and trucks that bring the goods to these particular markets. The high-end markets like the supermarkets we have in Kisumo, Nakumat, Tuskis, have specialized transport that deliver goods to these particular markets on a very regular and scheduled kind of format that makes them be able to operate efficiently. These different levels of good deliveries determine the efficiency of the different markets. The perishability of the goods determine when they can be delivered and how long they can be stored, and therefore the functionality of the different markets. A market ranges from a physical retail market to a virtual internet market. The role of the market has transcended the traditional exchange of goods and services to include the exchange of information, formation of social networks, and strengthening of social bonds. Kisumu is the third largest city in Kenya. It is a regional capital and an administrative, commercial, and industrial center for the Lake Victoria Basin. Situated on Lake Victoria, it developed due to its strategic location as an internal port and a railway terminal. Uh, Kisumu City began as a terminus for the Uganda Railway. The railway terminated in Kisumu. It was then called Port Florence. And the name was later on changed to Kisumu. Kisumu means a place for butter trade. So the very name of the town implies activities of marketplaces. The butter trade was between the communities living around the area, the Lewis, the Kalenjin, and the Maragolis up on the hill. And so the different interactions between the different communities created the place as a center for a lot of market activities. True to its name, its rich endowments such as the lake and fertile agricultural land gave rise to a thriving economy. Like any other city in the world, Kisumu has a myriad of markets ranging from formal registered ones to sporadic periodical ones that serve communities around. Markets as commercial activities are the drivers of the city economy. And the markets are tied at different levels. 
And because of this different kind of hierarchical structure, you have the markets driving the economy at different levels. We have local neighborhood markets, we have local evening markets, we have local shops and supermarkets that drive economies at the neighborhood level. But then we also have markets that drive the city economy at a macro level, where we have linkages with the region, so that the goods and services that we are providing in these particular markets come from outside the region. But then we also have markets that sell products from the hinterland, like farm produce, like animal products, like poultry, that enables the hinterland around Kisumu be able to produce for a given urban market. So that markets as a driver of the city economy also acts as a driver of the regional economy. And that makes it very critical in terms of management of the regional resources. So Kisumu as a regional headquarters of most of these market places then provides that particular opportunity for the city. This market operates on Sundays only. The main traders are people from the church. After first or second mass, that ends at around noon. There are those people who purchase items in large quantities for resale, while others buy in small quantities for domestic use. Kibuye is a unique large open-air market in East and Central Africa since it operates on Sundays. Kibuye market is operated on Sundays only. This market has been compared to Porta Palazzo markets in Italy. The market, which has also been referred to as Kenya's best kept secret, is a two minute drive from Kisumu City. It offers a wide range of products and services from second hand clothes, furniture, shoes, bags, grocery, and food items. It is a must stop shopping center for anyone visiting the town. The first stone of Jubilee Market was laid in 1935 and the market was established as one of a kind to enable all produce collected from the colonial farms to be gathered and sold off. This comprised mainly of fresh vegetables, fruits and cereals, a tradition which has been maintained to date. The market structure was a combination of large stalls, small stalls, and shop outlets. Oila Market is a product of the spillover of traders from Jubilee Market. It is home to tilapia, a delicacy of the local community and an attraction to outside communities. Along the streets, women peddle fish, vegetables and grains to a diverse clientele. The buyers either buy fish for resale or for their own consumption. Mimi ni mfanyi biashara katika oile market ambapo ni soko hapo nyuma ilikuwa ni, ni park tena niko mwenyekiti pale ndani katika ile market tuko na sections tatu tuko na section ya mtumba tuko na section ya samaki na ya vegetables oile shida ambayo tunayo sana sana ni ya security tunasumbuliwa pale na hata na managers pili tuko na shida ya usafi Tunafanya pale ndani lakini tunalipa tax na kuna usafi yoyote ambaye nafanyika pale ndani na municipal. 
another vital market located along Kisumu Kakamega Highway is Kiboswa, a market that functions on Wednesday and Saturday only. It is an old market that serves three communities situated at the border of the Western, Nyanza, and Rift Valley provinces. Hi, Chako Alaka Pirauchelga Beach. Pirauchelga Boro. I started my business in Kiboswa in 1965 and became the chairperson in 1968. We have developed since then to date. People from Rift Valley, Western and Nyanza have lived here in peace and harmony all the time while selling from the same point. We sell vegetables, fish, poultry products, and all sorts of commodities except cattle. This market is under Kisumu City. This market started in the 1930s when plots were allocated to individuals who then put up structures according to their individual plans. As a highway market, most of its traders sell their produce to the buyers who take the produce to Nairobi, Kisumu and other urban markets. On the other hand, traders get their produce from the neighboring communities. Condele Market was established in 1988 with the title Condele Flamingo Market. It was just a bush and there were about five people selling vegetables. There were no structures or stalls of any kind. This market has now flourished to accommodate over 1,000 traders. I'm the location of CDA for Condele Location. I have five markets within Kondele location. Kondele is one, the market, Nyawita, Migosi, Manyata, Koyango. Those markets, I have so many different groups. Youth groups, active ones, now women groups. Most of them are doing table banking, merry go, go round, and they have so many NGOs working with them. But the problem they have is one. Most of them, they don't have chores, latrines, sewerage, water, light. So wherever I go and visit them, they ask me about those things. In Nyalenda Market, we come across Catherine Ombogo, a Mgongowazi fishmonger. The name Mgongowazi means a naked buck. After meat is removed from the fish, the remaining skeleton bones are sold to mongers who then sell them to the people of Nyalenda among other slums in Kisumu City. Mgongowazi is bought from the fish factories in Kisumu.
I like my job very much. I have done it for five years. I started by selling kales and omena. My friend introduced me to it. The only challenge is my large family with little income. Hence, I cannot build a stand. During rainy season, I am forced to look for a shelter. Nijikinge maali, dipo niendele na. Kisumu City has supermarkets that deal with many products. Nakumat and Tuskies are very popular supermarkets that are conveniently located within the city. Another popular market in Kisumu is Luangni. Luangni is a local community word for a housefly. The market comprises of constructed stalls owned by individuals who sell food items. The food sold here includes the popular ugali, fish, and omena. While this takes place, groups of youth carry on their business. The fish sold here is fresh because it is obtained close to the lake and cooked in time. Markets in Kisumu County are growing fast and are an attraction for business people from far and wide. We have many level stores that when somebody comes can easily get wherever he wants and when somebody comes he can get the community that he or she wants. The multiplicity in roles has made the market vulnerable to threats from different sectors of society which range from fluctuation of commodity prices, improper refuse disposal and sanitary facilities, ambiguities in regulatory frameworks, poor infrastructural development and effects of climate change amongst others. Tuletea hiyo, lakini problem yenye tuko na yesa hii ni ya kwamba tulielewana na watu wa municipal council ya kwamba watakuwa wanatusaf na steamer. Watakuwa wanatulipia steamer na sisi tulipe bili ya maji. Lakini hiyo steamer vile liwekwa 2011, 2012, mwezi wa tatu, ikakatu wa tena April, ikilimaliza tu only one month. Bada ya kukatu wa tene karudizo hii mwezi uh, last uh, October. Bada ya 8 months down the lane. Na hile services yenye tulisikilizana na watu wa municipal council ilikuwa ni 375 kulipa hizo maslabs yenye wale tupatia. The remedying of these maladies requires a multidisciplinary approach by both professionals and practitioners. The whole idea of this project is that uh, it brings in different stakeholders, both in academia uh, and in practice, to share ideas on how to make the marketplace uh, more effective in, in delivery of its, in, uh, of its different roles.